Virtual reality is the future of entertainment. And that future is right now. Like as soon as I'm done with this sentence, right now. Like right now, right now. Check it out. Everyone knows being professional at something takes practice. If you want to be a fashion designer, you can practice making clothes. A basketball player, practice basketball. But what if you want to be a doctor? No one's gonna let you do your first surgery on them. But now it's possible to practice being a doctor, thanks to virtual reality and the mind of Crystal Emery, a filmmaker, author, and game producer who created a game called You Can't Be What You Can't See. But I hear a young woman say, after utilizing one of our games, wow, this makes me want to be a doctor, or a scientist, or an engineer. I get really, really excited about that. Today, Crystal's showing us why her virtual reality game is the perfect tool for young people to experience the exciting world of STEM careers before they even set foot in a college classroom. Hi, Crystal. Hi, Fig. Hello. Today, Fig, we're going to try out you being a doctor. With the help of her assistant, Uriah, Crystal walks me through the game. A patient has come into the ER, and it's my job to diagnose their ailment and recommend an appropriate treatment. Look at what you can do in this virtual realm. There's a patient right in front of me with her dad, but she's obviously in pain. Ooh. What happened? She went up to block a shot, came down, and just started screaming. <laughs> Is anything hurt in particular? No, she just started screaming. Oh! I feel so bad. She's in a lot of pain. I want to help her so I can listen to her heart or her lungs. I think I'm going to choose listen to her heart. Take a deep breath and hold it. Wow, this is so cool. Okay, so I can see her heart. Elevated heartbeat. This can be related to her pain. Okay, now I'm going to listen to her lungs. Take a deep breath. Lungs sound clear. Okay, so it's telling me that I can check her legs just to make sure that she doesn't have any broken bones. No, no broken bones. I'm checking your abdomen. Let me know where the discomfort is. Her appendix is ruptured. I've already contacted surgery. They'll be down in five minutes. All right, so she's off for surgery. Whew, that was intense. So why did you choose a virtual reality game as your medium? Young girls really rarely see STEM role models that look like them. Virtual reality gave an opportunity to immerse people. There's nothing like me there and doing it yourself to encourage young women that you can do this also. So this allows an expansion of how young women perceive their own potential and capabilities and encourage them to actively participate in STEM projects, activities, and pursue careers in science. It was my pleasure to do experiences with you. And remember, if you can see it, then you can be it. And Crystal's game doesn't just show how STEM careers save people in the moment. It's also a lesson in the long-term transformative power of helping others and leading by example. What's happening now? We're fast forwarding a couple years in the future. This is cool. Now I can see she's inspired by what happened when she came into my emergency room and now wants to be a doctor. I feel like since she wants to be like me, that means I win, right? <laughs>